Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Patty and I'm a dog mom. I have three dogs, two chows and a Caucasian of Charka. Right now I want to focus on having a double-coated dog like my Chow Chow. Although my Caucasian of Chark is also a double-coated doggy, this one, my Chow Chow, he sheds twice a year, whereas my Caucasian of Chark sheds only once a year, as per the breeder and as per all the research you can read or Google. <laughs> However, as per our experience, he sheds sure once a year, but it's the entire year. <laughs> Focusing on the Chow Chow and other double-coated dogs out there as per experience, He's my third chow, so I can pretty much expect when he would shed and what to do before, during, and after shedding. This is Nello. He's a two-year-old chow chow. If you've ever had a chow chow or a double-coated doggy, you would know that it's very important to actually brush them, brush their coats daily. They're double-coated, so there's so much, <laughs> there's so much fur that if you don't get to groom him as often as you could. Where was I? What was I saying? So as I was saying before we were interrupted, <laughs> brushing is very essential. Of course you get a specialty brush or just a comb if you can get a really good one, but I heard that's very expensive. But if you have like a basic comb specifically for dogs for his size though, he's a medium to large dog, but right now he's even if he's on a diet, he's kind of gained weight after he was neutered. So he's a large, his ideal weight is 25, but he's not, he's way over that. Anywho, get a brush that's specific for not just his fur coat type, but also for his size. What I do is I swipe a bunch of fur up and brush down like this. Just so, see it's starting to get matted because I didn't get to brush him for, a day so oh so sorry it's some sort of de shedder you can also get that specialty brush that they call the ferminator once i get my hands on a ferminator i will tell you how it works for my chow chow try to brush under like this going down and hopefully that helps with the matting if ever there is and for this guy, it's starting to mat. It's going to be very painful if you don't brush him daily. Here you go. Such a good boy. <laughs> the most important thing is to brush him daily and that would take up 30 minutes of your time per dog. So if you have like three <laughs> chow chows in your home, expect to spend at least 30 minutes brushing and grooming them for that particular day. He's already falling asleep, yeah? He's gone. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I'll go to sleep while I brush him. He's such a good boy. So, like I said, if you have a double-coated puppy or dog, you have to brush or try to brush them at least daily. If not, you can do every other day, but it's very important so they don't get matted fur. Chows actually like being groomed, they like being cleaned, they like to feel clean. A few minutes into brushing him, he fell asleep, so it was like a spa day for him. And after I brush my doggies, I tend to give them a, you know, a little massage. Just so they get to relax even more. I ruined it. I was just fluff him up. It is very important for you to groom your double-coated puppy or dog to help the natural shedding process, especially during the shedding season and the summertime. If you have been putting off bath time, it's very important that you brush them because it will help them be clean. And I use baby wipes too specific for dogs. I wipe their paws, I clean their ears, I brush their teeth. Look at this paw. Baby, you need to take a bath.
I never really like clipping my dog's fur or having them go to the groomers and having them shaved. Whenever we make vet visits, I ask the good vet tech to just trim this fur here. Other than that, I don't really consider having him shaved even during the summertime. Their double coats actually protect them from overheating, from getting too cold. So it serves a double purpose. Their double coats serve as protection during the summer season and during the cold season. He's up for a trim just to round out the fur, but to actually shave the entire thing to skin. Unless he has a skin problem like my other child, child Lily, she's shaved on parts where her skin is inflamed so we can better put medicine on it and so that it can breathe but like i said unless your dog has a skin issue or skin disease i really think you should just keep their coats a little trim to round it out sure but never totally shaved to the skin but then again that's just me i'm just here to share as for my experience as a dog mom of three chows so far. Some groomers would tell you that it's not really advisable also because they would have regrowth issues and there would be a difference in the texture of their fur once you have them shaved more often than you should have them shaved. So again, it's a personal preference, but as for me, I just want to make sure that I don't really compromise their health in that sense, in that way. So shaving is not for us unless your dog has a skin issue. As a side note, most chows don't really appreciate having their paws touched, but we knew this from the get-go. So when we got him as a puppy, we started touching his paws just like this all the time. I even kiss it. <laughs> so now he's very used to having his paws touched, so we don't have a problem. Other chows who are not so used to having their paws touched as puppies would be very fearful or protective of themselves. So the tendency is to get angry or try to pull his paws away. But as you can see, this guy is just letting me do whatever I want. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> Are you asleep? And with that, I wish you all a good day and until the next video.